It's been about six months since I was last attacked by Halo Mega Constructs, and you know what? Things are going pretty well. Who's that? Good night, Billy. Huh? Wait, who's that? Oh, no! No, no, no! Ah! Wake up, Chief. It was all just a dream. I guess there'll be a whole video after all. <laughs> Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today we've got a big boy. A massive parcel. Arguably, I mean quite certainly the biggest parcel I've opened since Christmas. I'm just so excited to tear into this. You will not believe what's inside. Not only Halo, but Call of Duty as well. Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty. Call of Duty Mega Blocks. There is so much inside this. We're gonna tear into this. Yeah! And see what's inside. This was sent to me by the legend the wonderful, the mysterious, the all-knowing and all-powerful Bam Bam Productions. That guy has been helping me out on YouTube like no other person. We have been doing so many amazing projects together and he's got something coming soon which will blow your mind. This is the holy package of Frozen. It's Elsa. <laughs> That's great, that was at the very top. I'm sure Daniel planned it that way. Wow, it, this, this thing is thick. Oh my goodness, there is so much inside. The first thing that has caught my attention is wah, the radar wreckage. This is something that I've been looking for for many years. It was just such a sought after set, that classic banished look, but really we've only seen so many of these pieces once. So I'm happy to get a jump pack monkey boy. It also seems strange to me that they didn't include this jump pack with the new Hyperius. They gave him like the old jump pack and I believe this is it, yeah. Jump Pack Brute. Where's my monkey boy? That is a great start. And you'll notice in this, there is so much Call of Duty. And I'll explain why later. None of the Call of Duty is for me. I got something pretty exceptional planned for it. So next one, we've got, oh my goodness. Look at this. I have never seen. Wow. Such a cool bag. This is like, everything I need right now. I want the new Mega Construct sets, don't get me wrong, but my priorities right now, number one, are dioramas, and I simply can't make them here. Not anymore. Bam Bam has come in with the source equipped, and he's giving me all of these scenery pieces. These are from some of the new Mega Construct sets, and I think we've got some of them in this box to show you in packaging. But they're like small little boxes, small bags, that come with just so much scenery. This is also a piece that I'm excited about, this barbed wire here. That's gonna come in handy. And then all this foliage, so many plants. Wow, very excited about that. Let's get some Call of Duty out. Some Black Navy SEAL kind of special ops insertion figures. It definitely looks awesome. And so does this. This must be some kind of Humvee, some light assault, light armor vehicle. Very nice. Whoa, the bags are getting bigger. We've got this one here. Nice base plate, nice camo netting. This reminds me of the assault on high ground from the old school Halo Mega Block. This comes with a few really nice figures. These might be named figures, I'm not sure. Again, not a big Call of Duty note, but I know someone in Hong Kong that is. Oh -ho -ho. Yes, can you tell me what this is? There's a little flood boy hanging out. 
This is, oh yes, the Flood Infected Cyclops. Definitely the best Cyclops with such unique arm pieces. It's got a huge Flood Hunter arm and then some extra heads that you can stick onto the side. It comes with a Flood form and this really nice Halo 4 Hunter. Wow, oh, so good. So good, I cannot wait to bust this open on a review. That's amazing. What else do we have? I see lots of Call of Duty. This Arctic combat unit, very nice. And this, I think this is some kind of Apache helicopter. Whoa, oh, these are Infinite Warfare Call of Duty. Now these are like the futuristic ones with exosuits. Uh, I always was a big fan of these at the time. I used to buy some back in the day, and I used to sell a lot at Blocks Fest. It definitely skipped me by a lot of the time. Oh, I see an American flag. American soldiers. Very nice. The cool flag. Special Forces. Special Forces Submarines. Nice. Check out a few of these. Wow, that's a big load of guns and accessories right there. This one's got sort of the same rubber uh, utility belt that Pelican Brohammer has from Halo Infinite. Man, <laughs> Call of Duty man. Some of these are pre-built, some are not. What do we have here? What do we have here? This is a big boy. Is this Halo? What is this? <laughs> I know what this is. I know what this is. We've got a very special character in here. Let's clear the way for this very important MVP. We don't want anyone in the way of this. I'll hide the face so you don't know who it is yet, but comment down below if you've figured it out already. Really excited for this one. This was secured again by Daniel. These were all secured by Bam Bam Productions. You've seen our videos in the past, a warehouse closing down sale. You can actually check out those whole videos where we scored a load of Mega Constructs from the Mega Constructs warehouse itself. The most cigar chompinous marine there is, Sergeant Avery Johnson, with his own mech suit. With the Banished Marauder Strike. Oh yes, what an epic set. More Call of Duty, more Call of Duty. We've got Marines, excellent. So much Call of Duty, holy cow. And then these guys as well. Some like Desert Ops. One of these has a really cool ghillie suit. You never really know which ones are the American Marines and which ones are the terrorists when it comes to Call of Duty, but I guess it's anyone's guessing game. So you may think right now the amount of Call of Duty we've got is straight up ridiculous. I'm pretty sure we've got like every combat unit that they've released over the last like three or four years, but it does not stop there. We'll take a break from Call of Duty and go over some of these heroes, Mega Constructs heroes. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Never played the game, but I, I used to play some old Tom Clancy games from time to time, so I'm excited to open that. Yes, these two are actually for my brother. He's never really showed an interest in Mega Constructs, but he loves Borderlands. So I secured these two for him. I'll be sending them to him whenever I can. This one. I was very excited about. I didn't actually ask for it. Bam Bam just picked it up because he is an awesome guy. Predator, half active camo, like he's in stealth jungle mode. You can see that green is like the jungle reflecting off his transparent, translucent material. So I'll be opening all of them in another Mega Constructs Black Series video. I did one quite a long time ago now. I'll be doing another one of those. And what do we, oh my goodness. Whoa. Yes, this is diorama pieces. Just really sick. All the pieces you would need to build up jungle canopies, mountains, deserts, maybe even some buildings. Oh, that's so good. And this is the stuff I was talking about. Mega Constructs Inventions. Bring your ideas to life. This is basically what we need more of nowadays, especially with Halo. All of the Halo sets, they should just bump up the piece count by like a hundred and include more scenery pieces. Like it's actually kind of ridiculous that we're on the second year of Halo Infinite Mega Constructs and we still don't have like any bases, like anything past the Defense Point Showdown. So I'm a big spokesperson for, you know, Mega Constructs releasing more things like this. And these are more. This is the tr <laughs> this is the tropical booster pack, ocean booster pack, or aquatic booster pack, the military booster pack. The ideas run wild for these things, like they are gonna be so useful, so ridiculously useful. There's more barbed wire in there, some missiles, sandbags, base plates, and then the aquatic one I'm especially excited about as well. Yeah, this is perfect. 
absolutely wonderful, marvelous. And wow, this um, this I didn't even ask for this. This is uh, wow, this is crazy. Such a sought after set. The Oni Strike Team. I never thought I'd get my hands on that. I thought the scalping price would prevent it forever. The Oni Strike Team. Such amazing paint the coals. So many great colors working with each other. This is going to be a really exciting video to unbox. Oni Strike Team. Let's go. And here is something <laughs> even more than the only strike team and I opened this up gosh I must have bought this originally about like six years ago now at this point I didn't even know that sealed versions of this existed feast your eyes the anniversary battleground Man, this was back when the monkeys were still old articulation. I love these Halo 2 Marines, even more than Halo 3 Marines, to be honest. They come with two different skin tones. This is the first appearance of Tartarus. I, I don't know, I always I always think of Tartar sauce when I say Tartarus. I don't, I don't know about you. This is the only time we've ever had brute bodyguards, and they were such a pinnacle part of Halo 2. This might be difficult to open. It came with the Shadow Convoy. They were basically one of two pieces. Both sets just insanely iconic. The Shadow Convoy come in with three elite honor guards and a Johnson, an Arbiter, and a Prophet. Definitely the best figure set ever, I would say. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Should I open this? Uh, I'm on the fence. That's gonna be a difficult one to decide. This is, uh, yeah, wow. I'm very, I'm very, uh, what would you call enthusiastic in these videos, especially haul videos, because it's like wave after wave of crazy things, and uh, I just unbox the most stuff in these videos. But this one, I've been trying to get this for years. Always at a scalping price, always out of its packaging. I've considered buying the figures separately, and this is sealed. In all its glory, Fire Team Osiris. Yo, man. Fire Team Osiris. Some of the Fireteam Osiruses have been plagued with like insane overkill on the scratch detail, like to a point that's ridiculous. These ones don't look bad at all. These actually look fine. I've never seen a Spartan Tanaka before. I've just never been able to get a Holly Tanaka, so I'm really excited about that. This lock also comes with shoulder pieces, which he never did originally. So, super hype. Assault Rifle, DMR, SMG, Battle Rifle, Arrow of Time, Lawgiver, Echidna, and Void's Tear. We've got one more big reveal today, ladies and gentlemen, and then we'll scale this all up and really talk about what we've got and why we've got it. The last reveal for today is, drumroll please. <laughs> Weakest drum roll in history. Ah, the battle for the art, Master Chief. The funny thing about this set is it was released quite recently, but then it was re-released last year. So it's a common misconception that this is a 2020 set. I guess the Master Chief for Halo Infinite, at least the art style, was revealed about four years ago. So I guess Mega Constructs would have known the Halo 3 and Halo 2 art style was returning in Halo Infinite. So maybe they made this two years ago and called it the Battle for the Ark because they knew they could make like a Halo 3 figure and then a year later re-release it as a Halo Infinite figure because it's basically the same Master Chief. So I respect their game if that's what they did. You may have noticed that there's been a bit of a drought with my sets recently. I mean, I do live in Hong Kong and it's very expensive to ship stuff here, but Bam Bam just came through like you wouldn't believe here and we got a lot of exciting content still to come. So this is the Master Chief. He even included the cardboard cutout for the uh, the Banished Marauder Strike. We've got one more thing here, but I'm afraid it's classified. There are some very scary flood forms in this box. They're Bam Bam Productions custom of some of your favorite Halo characters, fluidified to a very grotesque level. There's one custom I can show off right now. This is a beautiful one. It's purple and blue ODST. Really nice in metallic colors. And as you guys know, there is a massive project incoming that will quite literally shake the Halo community to its core. Like this thing is the biggest project the Domain or the SS Motion has ever made. So guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm gonna tie you up a little bit and I'll see you guys in a minute. Movie magic later, we've got quite a haul here. 
It's not all Halo, but let me explain exactly what's going on here. Fire Team Osiris, the Anniversary Battleground, Oni Strike Team. There they go. <laughs> Banished Marauder Strike, we've got the buildable Master Chief from Halo 3, Halo Infinite, the Radar Wreckage, and the Flood Infected Cyclops. These three Mega Constructs inventions, and all of these massive diorama bags that are just going to explode my mocks into new levels, I'm really excited about that. We've got those Mega Constructs Black Series, which are hiding out behind this landfall. And we've got all of this Call of Duty. You may be wondering, Simon, what is all of that for? You don't even play Call of Duty, bro. Yes, let me tell you. So if you guys remember, I did a travel box a couple of months back now where I met with Hong Kong's largest Halo Mega Constructs collector. And he has decided, because he really enjoyed my video and we formed a really great relationship, he's decided to help me out and pretty much sell me everything else he has. Like I'm looking to buy almost every single Halo thing that he owns. All the figures, all the sets, the vehicles, the base plates, everything. In exchange for his new passion project, Call of Duty Mega Bloks. So all of this is going to him. I'm receiving all of his Halo. It's going to be an insane deal. And you can check out part two of this video where I go and meet him. We're recording this at about 7 p.m. And at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, we're taking a bus all the way to Hong Kong Island. We're gonna watch the sunrise there. Then we're gonna meet him for some breakfast, trade all of this Call of Duty for all of his Halo. And then you guys can find out how you can own all of that Halo and more by participating in my new mystery box system. It's gonna be these new blind bags where you can buy five or 10 figures at a time. And it's gonna be insane. I'm so excited about it. There's gonna be so many opportunities to get rare Halo heroes and loads more. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys for part two in a couple of days time where we're gonna do the biggest deal of mega constructs in Hong Kong history <laughs> to be continued.